Hello everybody and welcome to the third video in my industrial craft series. In this video we'll be taking a look at the MFSU which is the third and final EU storage block inside industrial craft. While I take a look at the block itself, the resources and recipes should be appearing to your left. Okay, so the MFSU is an EU storage block which stores up to 10 million EU and accepts up to and outputs at a rate of 512 EU per tick. This means that this is a high voltage machine and if you wanted to use it with low voltage or medium voltage machines you would need to use a, a low voltage transformer or a medium voltage transformer. It accepts current from any side except the one with a dot and I've placed this wrong it should be like that. So that's the dot and it can't accept input from that side as that is the output. So let's take a look at the interface. As you can see, it's very, very similar to the bat box in the MFE. If you want to charge it, you place your input here. If you want to take power from the MFSU, you take, uh, you place your block which you want to be powered in here, an RE battery, say. And this is the meter showing how much power in it, and this is the fraction. As you can see, it holds up to 10 million EU and outputs at a rate of 512 EU per tick. As you can see, it can take input from any of its side except that one, like I just said. And if we were to play some cold coke, I can just demonstrate that, and it will start filling up nicely. Now, if you want to take output from the MFSU, you've got to use the dot on the side here, and then lead wire from early uh, cable, sorry, from the MFSU into the block, and then that will start re uh, receiving power from here. As you can see, it builds up to 512 and then sends a packet of 512 to this block here and this will go up in 512s. So yeah, that's pretty much all there is to the MFSU. Thanks for watching, please stick around for the next video.